Willie D. Live. So Willie, when I when I got ready to the the and had meetings with Sony and told Sony, listen y'all, I'm going on with the HSC album. Right after the HSC album, y'all get another flip album. Willie, we had recorded this album, man. We and we had been on the road like crazy. It was time to turn that album in. That album was complete. Complete, recorded. We in Cincinnati, Ohio. We had just did the show. And Flip, you have been cl- complaining to me on these shows that Young Red and my other little brother, LaRun, ain't saying nothing in the microphones while we perform. Now, Willie, you can tell somebody else that, but you can't tell me that because I'm on stage with you, Flip. I'm hearing, I'm passing by everybody as we perform, and I'm hearing everybody saying their parts. It went from, you don't want them on stage with you no more. You want me and you to come out there and do the show. You don't want these boys. I'm, I'm not going to let you do that to them. So, Willie, I had to talk to him a couple of times about what he was complaining about. And also it started a little ruckus in the crew because I can't take what you give me and not not address family with it to give them their property opportunity to respond to this. It caused it caused friction in our camp for a minute, but the friction led to greed. And what I mean by that is, Willie, same night that young man asked us. Oh well, man, I ain't gonna do nothing tonight. We just got off the we just got off the stage. We just got back to the hotel. We getting out the van. Uh, uh, man, let me let me listen at the album, man. I'm a I'm a study the album a little bit tonight, man. Okay, well, I ain't no things. Take now. What is he studying the album for? To perform? He's studying the album to listen if he if he think he wanna change anything. You know how we do. We. Once we recall but, but Flip was on that album, right? Yeah. He's all over the album, right? Flip is all over the, yeah. H- the new HSC album. Yeah. So so what's the problem? The problem the problem is nothing with us. So we like, okay, well maybe he wanna listen to that and see if we, it's something he wanna change or something. It's no problem. So we give Flip the album and let him go to his room and listen to it. Willie that morning it was time to check out and come out the hotel, time to go into the next stop. That morning we got up, we, we had to flip where the album at. The album ain't nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. He don't know where it's at, what could the album to. Well, you done had it from 3 o'clock in the morning, because we just got off stage, to check out time at 11 o'clock. You gave it to him in a CD format? CD format. The producer got it out the dashboard, out the dash, because we was listening to it, and put it in his hand. And that was the only copy I had? That was, no, that was the cop. That was one of the mix and master copies that we would just test ride and listen to mm-hmm. to make sure that that's the feeling we want this music to give everybody. Well, the flips claim he can't find the album nowhere. Nowhere. Now, this is the whole album. So everybody is, everybody is in a funny mood about that because we had already seen you was complaining with the guys, like they are not performing and doing their part on stage. Really, the album come up missing. We end up, we end up checking for the room, went all through that, through that, couldn't find it nowhere. Really, before I can get back to Houston, I start getting phone calls. Hump, man, this album is jamming, man, this new album, man. I got the man, y'all did that. What new album? The new HSC. What new HSC? Well, when the man started playing this over over the, the the stereo he was at and let me listen to it, it's the whole album. It's already out in bootleg. Flip. How you know Flip did it? How we know Flip did it? We know Flip did it because of the people that came to his room that night. That's the same part of the camp that DJ with them that called me with it and let me know that they it's out and they got it. 
So after communicating with some of the fellas, yeah, it come right back to us. Yeah, yeah, it came back to us. Okay, well, Flip, you leaked this. Why would you leak this, my my brother? This is all of y'all works together. Flip, you you leaked that because you was in your feelings because you really wanted me to give the label another little flip record, but it ain't your time no more, little bro. It's HSE's time. Well, it's, it's just have been just young, hungry, greed. It's been like that ever since we've been together, and a lot of people didn't know that. So what was the fate of the album, the HSE album? What, what happened after, after the album was leaked? Well, after the album leaked, we ended up telling our label about the album is leaked. The label couldn't believe it. What the label did, the label threw the album out there without putting a whole bunch of nothing behind it. And also, well, we'll give, a, we'll give Flip a chance since they really want another album with Flip. So on the backside of Sucker Free Presents, that was a pure album, but it was a double CD. The double CD is a uh, is a flip side of flip freestyles freestyling on some on some things. I think we we put the remix. I can do that on that with Juvenile, and and we did one or two more songs over there with Flip, but they just chunked it out. The the budget what we supposed to get, and the the marketing funds that they were supposed to put behind the record, they never did, Willie. Really. They never did because they looking like this is going to be a total loss anyway. The music is already out here. How do how do you and and Flip how do y'all bump heads to the degree of you know when I hear something like that you know in my mind that street you know that's something that's got to be handled. How do you how do you guys get to a point where you guys say you know what? No matter what, I'm not gonna go there with him. You know how do you, how, how did you do that? And then, this is important. I'm asking this question because, you know, uh, you know I've had that type of moment with somebody that's close to me, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And you make that decision like look, look, you know, it's really really messed up. That's really messed up. Typically, that's what I would do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to do that with him. How did y'all get to that point? First of all, Willie, we have to know, we have to know ourselves first. And at the same time, uh, once you know yourself, man, you know, you know, we, yeah, we got that in us and yeah, we're about that and yeah, this could be that. But also we, we can't live with our feelings and morals. You know what I mean? And and when I say that, I say, Flip, Daddy, and me grew up as boys playing football on the side of my mama's house mm. and in the front of his mama's house. Me and Flip, Daddy, have went to school all, ever since we was young all the way up. Flip, Daddy, Mom, which is Flip, Grandmama, is just like my play mama. Mm. My mom. It's family, man. It's family. Bro, do you understand Damn, what I'm saying to you, family. bro? This is what I'm saying to you. Okay. My mom, my sisters and everybody mm. is just like family to flip daddy. You know, we close. Mm. I'm talking about we real close. Willie, and I'm glad you asked me that because it goes back to the thing of this. I have told the story 15 times and it ain't going to never change. And I told, I tell Flip Daddy this all the time. Wish, I'm I only mess with Flip because I found out he was your son. Once I was out here throwing shows and different artists on my shows, I seen something that I didn't I, I didn't digest good as a youngster that he was doing on 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 the road with us. And I asked the people who we was. I didn't know nothing about Flip. Flip wasn't no hot, hot artist, Willie, that I, I wanted to spend a bunch of money on or nothing like that. But let me get back to your answer. How I deal with it, Willie, is I look at all the work that my family 
and everybody, man, have put into building this character, the leprechaun. We built that. Totally built that. And the way I built it is because Flip had the problem with the third of who was the leprechaun of Cloverland. Remember that? I remember. Okay, and what, what I did is I said, well, let me just squash this beef about this. We got an album getting ready to come out. I'm just going to deal with it on the artwork. Black Cat, look, I got to make this man a leprechaun. What we looking at? What can you do? He say, hump, give me a few minutes. Let me come up with my plan for you. I got some ideas. Tell me what you think and what you like. You know I saw that cover before y'all saw it. <laughs> you know, because Black Cat was my graphic designer. Black, uh, R.I.P. Black Cat. Man, yes, Clyde. indeed. Uh, man. I, I, I worked with Clyde brother. for like 25 years. But I saw that. I was there when he was making that. Uh, that cover. Yeah. I spent a lot of hours at Black Cat right. you know, Studios, and so I saw it. I saw. I saw it. You know, I didn't know what to make of it. I'm like, this dude wearing a leprechaun suit. And, well, to be uh, honest with you, uh, when we jumped it off, everybody didn't know what to make of it. It's like, man, he just man come up with a clown suit on. It's a gimmick. No, it's a. I'm trying to brand them. 